In the mid-19th century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. At the forefront of these experiments, the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human mind, expanding the knowledge of our species. 1942, whilst the world was at odds with itself, the Ishin Initiative discovered Patient Zero. I was meant to do the first injection. And now, this might cause some slight discomfort. And shortly after, the Ether Institute was born. With it, a completely new way to navigate the human brain, projection, allowing scientists to access areas of the conscious mind previously undiscovered by medicine, placing our scientific studies at the apex of modern technology.
Initial procedure for patient. J N two zero five seven. Will commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Well, it seems you best get a move on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening. And hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you or our client. I'm in restoration chamber number three. Now, if you don't mind, would you be a dear and head on down? Ah, you know, we do tell them not to leave the pre-designated path, to stick to the memory routes laid out for them. But do they listen? Of course they bloody well don't. And unfortunately, recovery isn't always an option, once you experience the deep recesses of another consciousness.
Why can't anything work around here? Okay. We need to replace the fuse. You'll need to take the blown one out and replace it with the correct fuse. By the computers over there. We're going to need to use her own memories to reinforce the medical treatment she's received. 